I think in five years, uh, the majority of women will look at the majority of men as useless. The dynamic is they're going to only use you for what you're good enough at, and then you, they can dispose of you. Women don't love you. They are incapable of love. This is how it works. They receive love. We give love. They don't return it back. They do us favors. They lie on their back like a Carl's Jr. star. They lie on their back in marital missionary and do some pity and duties. They let you push and shove for five or ten minutes. Okay? And then guess what? They're off back shopping. They off back trying to sell some peace leaf. They off back trying to have it all. You're just there to just fill a little bit of time in the void. And then before she goes to sleep, she's there talking to your ass and cuddling. All right, pillow talking. And then she's on to the next dude years later. The marketplace is going to be effed up. This is what you want to tell the young men? <laughs> this was a bad take, Coach Greg. Um, oh, boy. We present to you a Raw Productions. What's good, everybody? If you're first time viewing my content of this video, make sure you like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Today, we're doing a reaction video to one of Coach Greg's videos where he was on Fresh and Fit podcast, and he was explaining how within five years, women are going to see men as useless. I do not see how that is the case within five years or any years for that matter. I don't even know how he came that, to that conclusion. And I think because a lot of people have seen a lot of stuff on social media and because they have personally experienced these what they call modern day women, that they have projected these feelings and these emotions and what they have experienced and try to make this a generalization for women, especially women in America. And I was having a conversation with a man not too long ago about women in America. There are a lot of women in America who know how to treat a man. How y'all say like a king and so on and so forth. There are a lot of women who know how to treat a man. It's just the women that you got to look out for. The women that you have to entertain. The women that you have to pursue. But y'all keep chasing women out of y'all lead. Y'all keep chasing women that are sexually promiscuous 24-7. Y'all keep chasing these women that are trying to be like Nicki Minaj, chasing these women that are trying to be like Meg the Stallion. And they don't have the, the sex appeal, but also the morals of uh, Erica Badu. You see what I'm saying? The sex appeal, but the morals of, of a Janet Jackson. And so because of the, the women that you keep pursuing and chasing, you, you have come to some conclusion that modern day women or women in this day and age generally ain't shit. And that's not the case. Your taste in women ain't shit. Your taste in women, the women that you keep chasing, the women that you keep pursuing, the women that you keep entertaining ain't shit. That's the case. That's what we should be talking about. You shouldn't be telling men that women are going to be seeing uh, men as useless. That doesn't help men at all. That doesn't help any of us. What you should be motivating men is, is for them to find good women to pursue relationships. But y'all have made this assumption and this conclusion and this narrative that marriage and relationships are a scam. Y'all have made you have made this conclusion. You have come to this conclusion that marriage and relationships are a scam. How? A lot of us were raised up in two parent households. A lot of us were raised up. You know, knowing our grandparents, I was raised up in a two parent household. I was raised up with my, my grandmother and my grandfather. I have seen the functionality of a two parent household and I want that for my children. How can you use the minority of people who can't get a relationship going well, the, the minority of the people who have divorces, the minority of the people who continue to find bad people to be married to, who have this lack of communication, who missed the mark when it came to finding the one and have concluded this as being a generalization of why men shouldn't date, why men shouldn't pursue women, why men shouldn't be married. This is ridiculous. You are contributing to the downfall of your own society. That's ridiculous. That you, you as a grown man, and, and, and I have nothing against Coach Greg because I think I just posted one of his videos not too long ago. 
but on top of that, Coach Greg, he has a lot of great videos, a lot of great videos that I would advise for men to listen to in order for them to better themselves as men. But this was not a good take. It wasn't. This was not a good take. I can't get behind this. <laughs> I refuse to believe that majority of women just see men as useless just because of the of the women that you keep seeing on social media, the women that you keep surrounding yourself with. You you sound no better than the women who keep saying that men are trash. You sound no better than the women out here who keep saying that men don't see women as as this and that. Uh, men don't value women. Men don't uh, want to be with women. You know, these women that, that keep emasculating and keep determining what is a masculine man and what is a real man. You sound no better than them. It, you know, and it's, it's with these type of things, I just had to take a couple of steps back when it concerns like red pill content. Because if I get too far deep into looking at red pill content, I run into stuff like this. A couple of red pills a day. I can't overdose. I can't overdose. But show your thoughts concerning the whole matters at hand concerning the whole topic how do you personally feel about this topic at hand do you believe that women are getting worse do you believe that modern day women are it's a thing it's a concept it's something that's being more rampant by the day as the years go by let me know about this in the comment section below make sure you like the video subscribe to my youtube channel and share this video with other people and like the video because it helps out with the algorithm and it gets this video out to more people so until next time i'm tyrone and i am